The Stanford Mendicants are an all-male acapella group at Stanford. We have been around since 1963. We would sing a, a repertoire of predominantly love songs and serenades. And we're very proud of our heritage and proud of the current high standard of music that we continue performing. Fun-loving, chicks, great music, brotherhood. Yeah. Girls like us. They do. A lot. We're all each other's best friends, but also a group of talented singers who take, you know, what we do very seriously. Hmm. Sometimes. Five words, the mendicants. Just a group of guys. Yeah, you know, I'd say it's just like a group of guys. To start with, just a group of guys. Yeah, it's true. Right. It's very, I, I would agree with that. That's probably the best thing you can actually say. The best way to describe the mendicants would be like, like, what do you think? Like, well, just, just a, a group, group of, of guys. guys? No way. The Stanford Fleet Street Singers are um, a group of, of uh, musicians on this campus. It's eight o'clock on a Sunday night and well I'm feeling just fine. Fleet Street was founded in 1981. They went through a couple of iterations of titles, they didn't know what to call themselves. Uh, I think something like the, the Steaming Manholes was an option. Uh, the Heffalumps was another option. It's just... Uh, a group of people who are really dedicated to singing, but they're also really dedicated to not taking themselves very seriously. Boisterous. Yeah. Uh, jubilant. Larger than life, yeah. I'd say. And whispers of um, greatness. I like to think of ourselves less as an acapella group or a singing group, but more like a performance group. We enjoy making a lot of people laugh and we enjoy making each other laugh. Most importantly, writing original music. We joke in Fleet Street that uh, Fleet Street's all male, all gay acapella group. It's like that really nice guy that uh, you would bring home to mom and dad. And depending on which one of the guys you bring home, he might also be gay. Brotherhood and performance. It's a good combination of the two. It's like being in Gryffindor and Harry Potter. That's exactly right. <laughs> Stanford Fleet Street. I admire them greatly for their musical abilities. I mean, they're, they're great dudes. I really do like them. Who are the F Fleet Street? Are they another I, I mean, group? I didn't know they were singers. Oh, I'm are those gonna... the guys in the tuxedos? That sing about peeing in the shower? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, That's I thought that was a Halloween guys. thing. That's those cool. Guys. Yeah. Who are the mendicants? I'm sorry. Sorry. Who are the Stanford are... mendicants? They give out roses. Um, they sing some Brown Eyed Girl. I've seen them in. I, I saw them. Uh, I know that wasn't. They. That's about all I know about them. Da, 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 da. Is there a rivalry between the Mendicants and Fleet Street? No, no, yeah, absolutely not. not. Absolutely oh. not. We like to joke that there is. If there were to be a rivalry, there would have to be two kind of powerful groups involved. We're, you know, doing things like, uh, you know, rehearsals. We, yeah, we're, we're traveling and, and performing and, and things like that. So yeah, I'd say no. I'd say no, there's not, there's no type of rivalry. I'd say so. There's a rivalry. Healthy rivalry. It's, uh, more like sometimes a, more it's like unhealthy. A, more like, like a feud. Like a, um, a rift, a schism, a, a, if you will. Without, without a doubt. There's a lot of surface mm. um, amicability and kindness that masks a very deep level of animosity and hatred. Stanford Fleet Street. Wait, are those the penguins? Which was started by a group of mendicant rejects. I think they might be a little jealous. They'd probably look up to us. I think they wish they could be us. They probably respect us. Who has better posture? Mendicants. mendicants. I think that Fleet Street thinks of the mendicants in the way that uh, an uncle might think of a nephew. Who's got that British guy? Mendicants. mendicants. Because um, like we, we respect what they do, we see what they do, we enjoy it when they do it well, um, but at the end of the day, we're still the ones who are like driving them to summer camp. Who sings Marvin Gaye? Mendicants. mendicants. Who sings about peeing in the shower? Fleet the Street. other one. Fleet Street. Fleet Street. The, the penguins. Feet Street? Whenever there's any signs of camaraderie or friendship that are beginning to form, they kind of try to squash it immediately and nip it in the bud. 
I picture a lot of high fiving, probably. Yeah. Like probably in, more in high rehearsals, than like a lot singing. of high fives. Wait, the mendicants have rehearsals? I always thought they just had barbecues. It's hard to work in sort of like the um, the antisocial sort of like borderline psychopathic tendencies toward their work that they have. The the high five to singing ratio is like easily three to one. Like like this. Like if they go like if we're if like, Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Like that. That's, um, that's kind of how I picture Mindy Kim's rehearsal. Yeah, no, nothing but respect for him. But, uh, but seriously, like, fuck those guys, come on. Fleet Street is the superior group. I would say that the mendicants were the superior group. Fleet Street. Uh, the Stanford mendicants. That's a good, that's a good call. Which, which group is it that doesn't do Brown Eyed Girl at every concert? Which, which well, one of those? Fleet, Fleet those Street doesn't Fleet Street. do that. So they're, so Fleet Street. We are the Stanford to their cow. And really, we're just friends. Cast my memories back there, Lord. Sometimes I'm overcome thinking about it. To Fleet Street. Well, if the two of us were together, I'd start doing some of these. And, you know, kind of walk around a group of them and be like, look who we got here. It's Fleet Street. <laughs>